Okay, this is an example of a medium level superposition problem. And as always, we begin by uh, killing the sources. In this case, we have two voltage sources. So we'll go into the circuit editor in the source killing mode. And again, there are instructions available. Um, all this is pretty simple. Um, so we will set one of those to be a short to set it to zero volts. And then we're finished with that mode. And now we're going to go back into the simplification mode in the circuit editor uh, to try to get this down to a single node pair or single loop circuit, which is basically required um, when solving this type of problem. So now I can observe that I have uh, two resistors here that are in parallel. And so I'm going to combine those. The 5 times 3 over 8 basically will give us uh, 1.88. So I'll delete that one. Check that combination. That is correct. And now you notice that I can no longer combine these things in series because there's a SOT voltage on one of those two resistors. So this is where I have to do a SOT variable transformation. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that SOT voltage into a SOT current. So to do that, I right click on this element and I'm going to add a current arrow uh, and I want to use passive sign convention in this case so I'm going to have it point up as opposed to pointing down and make this a SOT variable and so that adds a current arrow there and I'm going to call that, I have to give it a name so I'm going to call it I0 since I haven't used that anywhere else and now I'm going to remove the SOT voltage by expressing it in terms of I0 so I'm going to take the voltage label and set it to none but in order to do that, I have to write an equation in the equation editor. So it's going to put me automatically into the equation editor to write that equation. And this is what we call an auxiliary equation that relates a SOT variable that's being deleted to the one that we're going to keep, which is the I0 prime, which will, the I0 prime will allow us to combine those resistors in series, whereas the V0 prime does not. So my V0 prime is going to be equal to basically an Ohm's law type of relationship. So I'm going to have my I0 prime here times the 1.88 ohms, which is the resistance in question. And because I have used passive sign convention, I do have a plus sign there. So I check that. That is correct. And so now I just go back to the circuit editor, putting no more equations. Now I don't have that SOT voltage anymore. Instead, I have an equation for it that's been printed over here on the screen. And so now I can simply add those two resistors in series to get 7.88. And as usual, I I uh, keep the element that has the SOT current. If I wanted to keep this one instead, I would have to first move the SOT current over to here, which is an extra step. Um, you can do that, but it's not generally necessary, so I'm just going to remove this one instead. And I'll check that combination. Now, um, I could quit at this point, since this is basically a single note pair uh, circuit. Um, I could also continue, if I wished, to transform the SOT variable again. Um, so I'll just do that by way of illustration. Um, so in this case, I can now put another voltage across this resistor, which is, remember, the combination of the other two. I'm going to put a plus sign on the bottom there to, again, use passive sign convention. And I'm going to call that VA this time. I can't call it V0 because I already had a V0 variable. And I can't use the same name, of course, for two different things. So I'll call that VA prime. And now I'm going to remove that SOT current by setting the current arrow and polarity to none. Now, in order to do that, it tells me that I have to write an equation for I0 prime. And that's very simple to do. So I0 prime is simply equal to, in this case, going to be the VA prime um, divided by that resistance, which is the 7.88 ohms. And again, I did define this with passive sign convention. So I have a plus sign here. So that is correct. And I'm done. With that and uh, of course you can see those equations up here and having done that now I can combine these two resistors in parallel because now with the SOT voltage that doesn't that no longer prevents me from combining those so I take the product divided by the sum or just take the reciprocals and add them and then take the reciprocal of the result either way that's going to give me a 3.71 ohms there then I'll delete this one and again that's correct and now my VA prime is actually 
uh, going to be very trivial because it's just the voltage of a voltage source. So it certainly can be done now. And now I'll just do my single node pair analysis. Um, I could also do single loop, but I think this is probably the easier one. Um, my SOT branch voltage uh, VA prime is simply equal to the value of the voltage source in this case, which is seven volts. Notice here that the plus side of the VA prime goes to the plus side of the seven volts and the minuses match. So that will be a plus sign here as opposed to a minus sign. If this if these signs were reversed, for example, or if the polarity of the voltage source were reversed, then I would have a minus sign here. Of course, if they're both reversed, then I still have a plus. Okay, so I checked that, and now I'm all done entering equations. So now I just need to enter numerical values, and I'll sort of work backwards um, through those equations. The VA prime is already seven volts, I know that. So I'm going to enter uh, the values here. The I naught prime is just the VA prime, the seven divided by um, the 7.88, which gives us 0.888. And then the V naught prime is just going to be this I naught prime that I just computed times the 1.88. So that will give me 1.67. Checking that is fine. And now I've done it with um, the seven volt source active. So now I need to go back as always into the uh, source killing mode in the circuit editor. And now since I've already computed the effects of the seven volt source, now I need to get rid of it by changing it to a short, in other words, a zero value voltage source. Remember that a current source would become an open circuit as opposed to a short circuit, but this is a voltage source. And that's done. So now I'll come back here and now I have two, uh, well, I want to go into the simplify mode again so I can simplify things. So I have these two resistors in parallel. So again, the product over the sum will give me very easily that that's going to be two ohms. I'll remove that one and I can check that combination. And now once again, um, I'm going to have to define a SOT current here in order to be able to combine those two. So I'll do much the same as I did last time. I'll call that I naught, except this is I naught double prime now. Remove the voltage by doing that, and then it will ask me to write an equation for the SOT variable that I'm removing so that I will have an auxiliary equation for it. So again, that's going to be a simple Ohm's law equation here. V naught prime, double prime is equal to I naught double prime times uh, the resistance involved, which is the five ohms. Check that, that's correct. And now I can easily combine those two resistors, so that becomes my seven ohms, that becomes a short. And, uh, and by the way, if you ever make a mistake, you can always use the restore circuit button to go back to the previous uh, circuit that was valid. But here I'll just check my combination. And then, um, again, I could quit here, so I'm just going to quit here in this case. Um, and because it's single node pair, I can do that type of analysis. And I'll simply solve directly for the uh, SOT branch current. So that's just going to be an Ohm's law relationship. Notice these two resistors are in parallel, but since I'm only interested in the current through this one, um, this resistor really doesn't matter. Uh, it's basically uh, redundant to the voltage source. So I have my three volts divided by my seven ohms. And then I check the polarity. The plus side um, is on this side and the minus sign is here. So this is a passive sign convention. So as always with Ohm's law, I have to check the P word, the polarity, to make sure I have that correct. And this indeed should be a plus, um, although in many cases it will be a minus. So that's now correct. And now I'm done writing equations. I simply go in and do the numerical computations here, plugging back into these formulas to get those two values. I will check that, and since that's correct, now I simply have the last step, which is to apply the superposition principle, meaning that the total voltage in the original circuit now, which has been replotted with both voltage sources active, is the sum of the partial values of the SOT uh, variable with each with one source active. So I just add those two up, and that'll be 3.81, and that is correct. So at that point, I finished the problem. And again, if you want to see a detailed explanation, you can always um, ask it to do that, and it'll show you the complete uh, sequence of how to go about solving the problem this way.